Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here, time for some more Moons of Madness. We are down in the Icarus Project. I'm sure everything will be fine and we'll get into no trouble whatsoever. Why they, when you do cutscenes like this, they always make you press buttons multiple times. It's like, just hit the button once and open the door. Why do I gotta press buttons a whole bunch of times? Alright, decontamination procedure. I don't think we're wearing our clean suit like we're supposed to. Some of the artifacts, I guess. Icarus complex. Oh my god. It's completely taken over. Pills! Seething tendrils of a hive ever expanding! Fools! They cannot be contained! For a command center. I'm gonna run real quick across these, because, yep, because I imagine they're going to hurt. Grabby there, tendrils. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. Some notes. It's a danger sensor. It senses danger. Jesus. Orochi has leverage on everyone. Obtain files and place them onto the console to review. The files include detailed avenues of leverage against the Invictus crew. Doctor Volka. She's while her ethical integrity is questionable, her skills are undeniable. <laughs> yeah, you probably should have found somebody just a little bit better. What's our problem? Minor childhood trauma documented by a licensed family physician. Fears of abandonment, mild social anxiety. Key to understanding her studies. Uh, all right. Special Forces Distinguished Service Cross resigned from her post in 2055, retaining her exemplary record. All right, this is just information about all of our friends. I don't really. Oh, Lucas, what the fuck? Restraining order, temporary restraining order, offense violation of restraining order. Psychopathic tendencies are well de 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 documented during youth therapy. Uh, videos show Lucas violently kidnapping and insulting women in his home. Is this to make us feel better about the fact that he's dead? He was a, not a very nice guy. Or he was a bad guy. Because it worked. Good thing Lucas is dead. That door just swing open. I'm not going in there. That sounds like a trap. Oh, robots. More robots. Watch out for the pokey boys. <clears throat> uh, what is that? Ugh. What is that? Gross. That little sensor thing doesn't know what it is. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty gross, whatever it is. This work? No. So the world will never know what that is. More gross things in jars. Where's your legs, man? Hmm. I'm sure we'll be down there eventually. Plants just made us take the long way around. Get out of my head! You could crack open your head like a walnut. Maybe you need And my voice is real still. Not in the spaces we know, but in between. Hmm. Let's go find somebody at his hand. Looks like it opens a door to an elevator. Only discarded pieces block the path. Rain senses. Unanswered question. Padded cells, that's always a good sign. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. This is this one's a dead end. Hey, look a hand. I need one of those. Oh yeah, that's not disturbing at all. To use the elevator, find the door code. Hmm. We're all expendable assets to Orochi. It wasn't enough to know all our secrets. They can't leverage us the just replace us. It grows projects is authorized to enact a contingency plan in unseen or unforeseen circumstances that may put the Invictus crew at risk. A replica of the individual will be made and preserved until the severe until a severe violation has occurred. Unauthorized transmission of operation information, verbal threats, homicide, witness homicide, sustaining fatal or crippling injury. Please review these proper things. So Cryostasis active, cryostasis active. Cloning successful. Tissue, organic tissue shows no sign of deterioration through advanced aging process. Memory implantation through nocturnal brain scans complete. They just keep, they just have the ability to keep reintroducing us. This is all the members of the crew, huh? Holy shit. That's, that's all of us. The entire Invictus crew. Are we the originals? Why did I expect the one that looks like me to move? <laughs> I expected the Shane one to be like, ah! Which is this? It doesn't end. Split from a single sleep. Germinated, scribbled on carbon paper, they multiply like vermin. Sentience is a glitch in the sensory organ. Pain, a cancer fed by reality. Hmm. 
Project Icarus. Experimenting with the substance phenomenon entity often called the filth, or the Z-Path, each sample tightly contained and, weak and weakened with a particular regimen of radiation. The goal of this experiment is to see if the effects of this preternatural contaminant are the same on cloned human tissue and cloned hybrid human tissue as on normal human tissue. If the effects are not the same, how do they differ? Today we, will, uh, we applied minute amounts of the filth on cloned cells using safety protocols and observed Effects were largely similar with the molecule of containment attacking the cells, however the process moved more slowly than observed before. Filth escaped. I have sealed my safety suit and performed all the emergency protocols. I have injected the irradiated serum as outlined in the procedures. The side effects are intense but mundane and far better than the alternative. How did this happen? There was no breach. I think I think the theory that the filth flows even undulates along dimensionals dimensions outside are perceived. Three may have merit. I sent for help. Try not to panic. Recording findings for this miss. Recording the findings this mishap affords. Voices continue. I ignored them at first. Congratulated myself on my rationalism, but then the voices learned to mimic my voice, and I thought they were me, and I was the voice. No, that doesn't make sense. Radiation must be working. My limbs have begun to do things on their own. But only when I'm not looking. I <laughs> have to stare at my limbs very carefully or they misbehave. I've made a careful regimen of making sure not to look at any one body part for more than a f seven seconds. I have to keep watch on them, except my right arm. Good arm. I am a scientist. Scientist! Cut off my arm today. Right arm. Good arm. Only an uncorrupted part. Pristine. Will be pristine. Forever. Stored. Good arm. In the morgue. Code 9510. Just write that down. 9510. Scientist will look. Will lock myself in a padded room. Everyone is safe. Scientist. Scientist. And then gibberish. See, I told you we were going to get an arm. Or a hand. Pull it out. You can see there was no one in there. Oh, hello, robot. Can I put you back in there? I don't want you to fight me. There's an arm. That's disgusting. A tactile tool. Said that to our inventory. You know what's a really ter terrible idea? Is that when you find what you're looking for, to go and open the next one. It was fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> Except for that we stepped on some corruption. Or filth, or whatever you want to call it. So he referenced... I'm, I'm going to backtrack here a little bit, because he referenced a padded cell, and we could see some padded cells here. So was he going to be in one of these? Did I walk past him and not see him? No, oh, I think he was in there, and then he became grossness and escaped. Please open. Uh, ah, ah, shit. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, close. Close, you piece of shit. Close. Ha! Ah, yes. Fuck you, you plant piece of shit. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. That's when he breaks through and falls down right there. You're like, uh, sorry. Tugs at the tides of the mind. It pulls the planet up 
Art! Do you feel it? Okay. Going this way. My mind opened like an optical flower, aching for the pollinator bat. I grow from nameless eons of inconceivable dimensions to worlds of elder outer eternity. Oh, how Rob casts a shadow. The corona surrounds the dark. I want there to be a thing like this that happens. A character in a game or something that experiences elder eldritch, you know, cosmic horror behind it beyond imagining and it's just like Yeah, it's weird. I don't know what. I couldn't I can't really describe it, it's just really weird. <laughs> just none of this weird poetic language, none of this like awe inspiring cracking of the brain. Just like, yeah, this was super strange. I don't really want to do that again. I feel like if you did it right, it could be funny. Locked in. What are they keeping here? New Eden. Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no escape. The dream will consume them. They are inevitable. Okay. I'll look at other stuff before I touch the computers. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Genesis 3.23. Okay. At some point that window is going to open. That's a camera. The clock is stuck on 423. Aw, oh, man, we missed 420. Meeting at 512? That's oddly specific. The CEO of Orochi was here. It makes no sense. I'm through. Oops, no. That which cannot. Uh, five o'clock in military time is seventeen. Oh, okay. It's probably a four-letter word. I should look around for some clues. I got some ideas for four-letter words. <laughs> yeah, let's look at this other stuff. Eden? It's probably Eden, right? Use these settings. Alright, I guess we're, we're doing this. This is, looks like stuff we're going to be doing later. I'm going to bet. So if it's a word, it's probably Eden. An emergency failsafe if Project Eclipse is released. If I can lower the shield, I can get out of this room. Alright, the fragment has become agitated. The workers are unable to resist its communications. They scratch at the walls, run through the complex, reduced reduce to a wild animalistic frenzy. I was able to close the chamber and enact the highest protocol, but I can hear the echoes ring in my ears. I see, I see the crew of the Cyrano. I've never seen them before, but I know who they are with all my being. And they stare through the crack helmet, cracked helmets, the filth reaching out towards me. I can't stay here. Eclipse has been shuttered. I've been activated the proper code protocols. I doubt they will be enough. Doors will automatically unlock in the event that the subject of Project it Eclipse is released. Project Symmetry. The rush, broken. the rush is upon you. You don't get to be the same person after they get in. 
The numbing agent used in Project Eclipse to keep the fragment under control is created from the strange metal powering the machine in the alien ruins. Since the active mechanism for sedation is poorly understood, we have taken this precaution of stockpiling a large amount of the metal on board the Invictus. In the event of an emergency, the Invictus can be launched. A self-guiding rocket has been attached to the payload. Be triggered with the code phrase once the Invictus safely clears the atmosphere. Communication specialist Delapore was tasked with loading the payload and setting up the detonation trigger due to the sensitivity of the operation, this location of the off-site communi- and his location at the off-site communication dish. He's considered the operative with the most chance of success in case of catastrophic event. He alone knows the trigger word and will use it at his discretion. Cyrano has crashed, something happened, an EMP. We cannot analyze it in time. The filth has reached. Violently and unpredictably spreading like a cancer across the entire base, the Dreamer fragment has sent the workers into a panic searching for a way to escape. The security system has been triggered, the entire base has been compromised, I've shut down Project Eclipse, an emergency kill signal has been sent to shut down. Um, shut down communications via Angelus. We will leave no trace. Cyrano location report. Immortal engine. As you know, we owe a great debt of work to Cynthia Newhart, the doctor suit Cynthia Newhart. The site was chosen based on her later work, notes and research kept under the strictest clearance while her exhaustive library and of equations scrawled sim scrawled symbology has been daunting. Our analysis still continues to see results. Most recently the acquisition of two recent items. We are already aware of the fragment of a dreamer which we recovered. Research continues into the significance of this fragment and how it tries to communicate. Using the magnetic energy signature first recorded by Ombudsman's expedition to the Antarctica, we're able to triangulate the location within kilometers. Though excavation of Site 9, the team is excited to announce that we have uncovered an actual Gaia engine on Mars. Further exploration of the chamber containing the engine has been halted. We defer to your judgment. Unauthorized video transmission. Pounding, muted talking. This is Trevor Graham, commander of the Cyrano-1. An EMP fry fried our systems. We're currently hurtling towards Mars at approximately 50 meters per second. It wasn't, it wasn't hours after they sent us the coordinates. I could see it in everyone's eyes. The doctor drew the short straw when the heat shell controls malfunctioned. We're not equipped for a mission like this. Command knew it. We're, we're a support crew. We follow procedure. After 20 minutes, he stopped responding to comms. We tried to reel him in, but his face, when he turned, the entire mass was covered in blackness. Just spider webbing of black oils across the entire thing and leaking out into the void. It cracked straight through the helmet. Constanza grabbed his arm, and that stuff crawled up in her suit, wrapped around, squeezing itself inside. The pounding. The airlock. I couldn't bring, let them back in. The infection. Just being near it made me temple seethe. They're all infected, doesn't matter. Hatch won't close any time we're gonna bust apart and rain down on the pieces of Martian desert. Pierce and Vogel are lucky. They're asleep in their pods, they won't feel a thing. I'm taking it down with me. All of it. This is the Cyrano. I'm about to enter Mars' atmosphere. A secret mission to help stake a claim. They don't care about lives they lose to do it. Do you hear me? The whole world is gonna hear this thing. The whole world! I'm getting out of here. I wonder if those consoles have anything to do with Project Eclipse. Find a way out. Here we go. Push. Oh, okay, so we're... So that's like that. I don't know if this is, uh, use last. Okay, don't, don't. This needs to be on number four. This thing needs to be... I don't know where. Whoops. 
Get back in there. Communication with the dreamer requires sensory deprived. Right, lighting is 20, sound is 100, numbing is 100. Lighting is 20. Okay. Sound is 100. Now that, that needs to be a 4, I think, because that's what the picture shows. None of these end up at 100 if we do that. Let's leave that there. Maybe that's lower as 4. are working for me. Closest I seem to be able to get is 101%. Let's leave that for there there for the moment. That's the other way. Hey, there we go. All right, and so then this goes here. Mm, apparently not, unless we're supposed to do something over here now. the dreamer. I'm you paying attention. Do I do something here now? Oh, it's all the same stuff. All right. That didn't work. There's got to be a hint somewhere from the right setting on these dials. You mean like 512? Oops. I didn't mean to get out of the chair. Hang on. Yeah, back in the chair. Seems like a bad idea. I know he wants to get off Mars and all, but this just doesn't seem like a good idea. Our family therapist's office. I can still smell the right. rusty leather sofa in the corner. I'm going to stop here for today. See you guys next time. Thanks so much.